In Mark 7, 37, the Bible says, Jesus has done all things well in excellence. We were created family in the image of God to only do our best every single time. Let's strive to be like God as young people. Let's keep ourselves from this world unspotted. Let's live without apology in our generation. Let's live in purity, in holiness. That's an excellent spirit, serving God, not flirting with the world, not one foot in the world, one foot in the church, but I belong to God. I'm heaven bound. I'm born again. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I don't apologize. I don't compromise. I know where I'm going. Heaven is my home. Earth is my place of dominion. I'll be the best I possibly can be. In 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31, the Bible says, whatever you do, do all to the glory of God the Father. Whether it's typing a letter, whether it's answering the telephone, whether it's making an appointment, whether it's going for a job interview, whether it's counseling somebody, whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. What is he saying? Do your best every single time. You can choose your attitude, family. When you wake up in the morning and go to work, you choose to be the best you. As you put on your clothes every day, you can put on your attitude. You can choose to be that shining coin that the world is looking for. People are watching. People are waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. And when the boss is away on holiday, you don't go to the shop. You honor your work contract. If you're employed for eight hours a day, you work your full eight hours. You don't quickly run to the bank or you don't quickly run over there. That's not an attitude of excellence. God is watching all the time and that will cost you dearly. You get there earlier in the morning, you leave later in the evening. You don't use the company's vehicle for your own private use if it's not part of the contract. You don't use the company's telephone for your private calls if it's not part of the contract. You honor the agreement as a righteous person. I believe many things are stopped in people's lives simply, not because they're not good people, simply because they violate certain basic principles of integrity, principles of what is right in the sight of God. I always tell people, no matter how difficult it is, do the right thing, my dear friend. If you've made a commitment, even if it's to your own hurt, you keep your commitment. You see your commitment through. If you've made that vow, you stick to your vow. Jacob did. He made a vow to Laban. He worked for seven euros. Even when Laban cheated him, he stuck to his guns. That's the attitude I'm talking about. When life throws you a curveball, when you have a raw deal in life, that you don't run away like everybody else in the world, but you stick to your guns. You believe in your promise. You believe in your dream. You display an excellent attitude. You live and work as that person that God created you to be better in everything you do. The righteous is better than his neighbor. People may not be watching, but God is watching all the time. And my Bible says promotion does not come from the east, the west, or the south, meaning does not come from man. Promotion comes from God. It may be a man in a board meeting that decides, I'm going to promote this one, that one. But it's God releasing favor on your behalf in the heart of that man. If you're a righteous man, a man of integrity, the Bible says you will stand before kings. Your gift will make way for you. Don't underplay yourself. Don't hijack yourself by not applying the principles in God's word. Be a wise servant of God. Be a wise man, a wise woman of God. Be a person of integrity. You know when you do the wrong thing. You also know when you do the right thing. And very often doing the right thing is the path of most resistance. Every secretary takes an early lunch break, so you begin to take an early lunch break. Every secretary takes a chance, so you just fall in with what everybody else is doing. Hey friend, God is watching. God's going to promote you. Be that person of excellence. Commit yourself today before God in this year to be that person that God can count on and God will promote you in the sight of man. God's favor will bring you into the right place in the right time, just as he did Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The favor of God caused them to be recognized. Why? Because they were 10 times better. They worked 10 times harder. Anybody sitting here tonight or over there in Pretoria, if we employ many people, you'll agree with me that you know who the hard workers are in your company. Amen. 
you know who the ones are that add value and sadly you also know the ones you can do without I don't want to be a charity case I want to be the best superb of high worth high quality tip top so that when people look at me they think I can't do without him in my life You might be sitting watching this program and you realize that your life is not right with the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter what your past, you can have a new beginning in life by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. All you need to do is to join Pastor Ut in the following prayer of salvation. Say, Jesus, Jesus. Be, my be my Lord. I open my heart tonight. I invite you to be Lord of my life. Please save me from the power of sin. Give me a brand new heart so that I will follow you. Thank you. I'm free to live for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Join Art Bosov live every Sunday morning at 9 and 11, as well as in the evening at 6 o'clock in both Bloemfontein and Pretoria.